and you disappoint yourself and you start to doubt yourself and you're like, do I ever, ever want to put myself out there again because this hurts so bad. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey, welcome everyone to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. I am Devin Dickinson, and today I want to talk about living a life of safety and security and comfortableness versus a life of dreams and and going for anything and everything that you can possibly imagine. And even as I say this, obviously everyone's like, oh yeah, you know, I want to live over there. I want to be that dreamer. Um, And, you know, I think we all do. And I I think we all as, especially as children and stuff, um, really do act and live that way. And we go for our dreams and we believe big things like, what do you want to be someday? I want to be a fireman. What do you want to be someday? Oh, I want to be the president. Oh, what do you want to be someday? I want to be a doctor. And then, you know, I want to be a professional athlete, you know, and all of these big dreams that we have as, as kids. And what happens is like, we put ourselves out there. We're like, I want to be president of the United States. So you think, oh, in junior high, I'm going to run for class president. And you lose <laughs> miserably. And all of a sudden, your confidence gets stripped. Um, you're like, I want to be a professional athlete. And next thing you know, you get cut from, you know, your junior high, you know, basketball team, or, you know, like, Oh, I want to do this, that, and the other. And and we do this, especially as entrepreneurs. Like I have these big dreams someday. I'm going to like, I'm going to own a giant company and I'm going to be my own boss. And I'm going to go and, you know, we're going to make millions and I'm going to employ a bunch of people and we're going to put people through college and we're going to, you know, have this great company that's going to change the world. And then we go out and, and we put a, you know, $20,000 on the line. We pull money out of our 401k and we go out there and bam, we get like just destroyed and we lose it all. And, and so we have these, this dreaming life and we put ourselves out there and oftentimes we lose and people don't like to talk about this. Um, because nobody likes to talk about losing. We always want to talk about the great victories, but like, if we're going to be totally honest, I think most entrepreneurs have lost more than they have won. I don't like to say that. I don't like to think about it because it just brings back these painful memories that I, that I have to live and they are painful. And, and I share this this week and I want to be extra vulnerable with you guys right now because I'm a coach and you know, whenever you hear about wins and losses from other people, it's like, Oh, that sucks or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you like, like, like for me, this is fresh, right? So, um, we, we had this year, uh, this vision that we were going to win the state championship. And I've been telling, I've been telling this, uh, senior class now, since they were freshmen, that we are going to win a state championship. We are going to win a state championship. And so we did it. Like we dreamed big. So the very first year that I started coaching these kids as freshmen, you know, I told them that we are going to win a state championship. And that was the goal as freshmen, this, this, this program had never even made the playoffs before, but we were dreaming so big, right? And, and sure enough, everybody on the team started dreaming it. And then boom, we lost a heartbreaker freshman year and we we're out. Sophomore year, like you guys are sophomores, everybody's, you know, we've got this great team. Now we got some people who've been around. We've, we've been playing together. We've got a really great team. Let's dream. We're going for state. Boom. Failure. Junior year. Failure. Well, they're now seniors. And it's like, everyone has this expectation. This is the year we've been waiting for. We're, we're just going to dream bigger than ever. We are winning state and that's it. And we lost. And and that's what sports is, right? You win and you lose. And sometimes you should, and sometimes you shouldn't. Sometimes you lose games. You should have won. And sometimes you win games, you should lose. Right. But it is heart wrenching, heart wrenching, especially in high school, because you know, that this kid's last year. Right. And, and everybody's saying goodbye. And literally people are weeping on the field and I could see it in their eyes. And I, I even felt it in my heart that it's like, why did we ever dream this big? Like, should we have ever even got our hopes up? Should we next year just set the goal lower? Do I even want to play soccer again? You know, and you could see all of this, this hurt where people are like, 
I hurt so bad right now. I don't want to go back and have that same experience all over again. And that is what happens as entrepreneurs is that literally we believe in something. You convince your spouse that you're going to do it and that it's a great business idea. And maybe your family loans you money and you get people to believe in you and you go out there and sometimes you fail. Sometimes you lose that money. Sometimes you disappoint other people that, that you take along for that dream and that ride and you disappoint yourself and you start to doubt yourself and you're like, do I ever, ever want to put myself out there again? Because this hurts so bad. I have so much disappointment. And what I, you know, to relate this back to sports, what I teach my players is that soccer is a picture of life, right? And so like we have these great wins and these incredible memories, but we also have this horrible loss and this emptiness. And now the question is, is what are you going to do with that? Right? What are you done? Is that where you stop? Is this your last game? And is that when you stop believing? And if you stop believing that you can ever win, that you can ever win a state championship, does that mean you could stop believing that, you know, uh, I don't think college is for me. You know, I don't really, you know, uh, it's too expensive and I don't have that kind of time. And, you know, I'm not that smart anyways. So you don't put yourself out there, right? Because you don't want to have the loss again. Oh man, I don't want to, I don't want to go and, you know, this is a good idea. Someone else is going to be a great, run a great company, but man, I can't put myself out there like that. Or even love, right? Like, oh man, like I'd really love to give this person my heart, but I'm afraid that it's going to get crushed. And that's what happens in life is that we have this ability to dream. And as we're children, we love to dream. We love to pursue. We go big, but we don't win all the time. We lose. We have suffered disappointment. And the choice is what are we going to do with that, right? Are we going to pick ourselves back up again and say, as an entrepreneur, as a leader, whatever it is, I'm going to be willing to be vulnerable enough to put myself out there and continue to dream and not only continue to dream for myself, but I'm going to pull people along with me and they're going to dream with me. And we are going to be vulnerable enough to know that we don't control the future. We don't know what might happen. A virus might come and wipe our company out, right? Like there's all kinds of things that can happen. And so you can play it safe and live in this land of what if and regrets and emptiness and average. Or you can choose to be a dreamer and have these highs and these lows and these ups and these downs and these sleepless nights and these incredible victories and memories, or you can live average. And what I challenged my players after the game is I got them together and said, guys, it hurts and I'm happy that it hurts because when it hurts, it means that it meant something. Do you know what I mean by that? Like when something, in, in order for something to hurt that bad, it has to mean something to you. If you ever lose a game and you don't care, it means because it didn't mean anything to you, right? And so I told them, I want them to live their lives that way. I want them to live their lives fully wide open, always dreaming, always believing, always being vulnerable, always putting themselves out there, always going for a bigger dream the next year, regardless of the loss and disappointment that you may or may not suffer. And don't be afraid to pull people along with you. And does it mean that they might get hurt? Absolutely. Does it mean that they're going to have vulnerability? Absolutely. But it doesn't mean that they're going to have a rich and full life? Absolutely. Because otherwise, what's the alternative? Average. The alternative is average. You never risk. You never love. You never put yourself out there. You, ne- you have a life full of what ifs and regrets. You know, I remember when um, uh, we first got married, we had a, our, our first, <laughs> our firstborn was a doggy that we had for seven years. And I love this thing. Loved it. And what happened was obviously it got old and <laughs> Eventually, at some point, it got sick, and we had to put it down. And we put it down. I watched, the, you know, if you ever did this, you watched the life go out of their eyes. And when the life went out of my dog's eyes, I looked and I said, I don't ever want to experience this kind of pain again. And so for, I, I told my wife, we're never getting another dog. I never want to have this pain again. And she's like, yeah, I agree. Let's not do this. So for, I don't know, 10 years or whatever, we had no dogs. And Like, we're like, oh, cool, right? But we also had no joy of the dogs, right? Like, it was, we were just lived comfortable, right? And and all of a sudden, you know, we were like, the kids want a dog. And I was like, I don't want that pain again. I don't want that pain again. And we opened ourselves up to get a dog. And the minute we did, I was so happy. And you know what my biggest regret was? That I lived all of those years without a dog. Because we love dogs. But I lived all those years without a dog because I just was afraid of pain and loss. 
don't live your life there. Like, don't ever be that person who is so afraid of pain or loss or disappointment that you do not pursue your dreams, that you do not pursue love, that you do not pursue opportunity because you're afraid of losing. That's really all I have to say about this. This is fresh. Like I said, I lost the game this week, so I'm teaching myself right now as I do this podcast. I'm Devin, this is Whiteboard Entrepreneur. I hope this helps. Take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button for more content.